Okay, this is my, uh, basically it's a giant ember or vapor, but I'm going to name it the Slow Hio because it's a, that's what I wanted it to be, a, a slow flyer for, like, good FPV platform or, like, um, good aerial video because it's really slow, so you, it has time to, the camera has time to actually, you know, get good quality videos, and it's really fun to fly around slow, and it's super big, um, 60-inch wingspan. Anyways, basically, I'll show you how to build it. It's just two uh, sheets of foam board. One sheet right here for the wing, and one sheet here for the other wing. They're 20 by 30 inches, and like I think these are like two bucks or something like that. And all I did for the uh, for the, the angles, nothing fancy. All I did was take this, yeah, and took the foam board and just cut it off like that. So that's how I made the angles. It's nothing fancy. You can do your own or whatever. Um, also, it carries a lot of weight. Like this right here, the Thunder Power 65C. I know it's overkill. I know, but they're the biggest batteries I had. And they're 4400 3S batteries. I mean, they're pretty big. And it, it takes two of these in the front along with the GoPro when it's in this slides on the front here along with the GoPro and it's housing up front to get it to balance out pretty decent and I made it like that on purpose so it could carry a lot of weight and you know go for a longer flights I also made it so that I could get the receiver as far away from the FPV equipment like say I had the FPV equipment right here and stuff like that I wanted to get it as far away from this receiver as I could and this is a 72 megahertz and I just had like the the antenna hanging off the back but so I added a, you know some uh, extensions going along and then it plugs up right here into that that's for the ESC and uh, so you get all that inner you get all this away from there um, this is a really small motor I'm actually in the works of putting this one on there it's a uh, um, Park Zone Extra 300 motor it's a lot bigger than that is that this is just 1100 kV motor and it gets really hot. It's too it's too small for this plane, but you know I'm changing that out. And this is the uh, ESC from the extra also, 30 amp, 3s and 4s. But um, measurements. This is a 24 piece of uh 24 inch piece of wood, um, balsa wood. I just got this at like Joanne Fabrics I think. And then uh, some 12 inch wooden dowels. I just made it you know six inches, six inches. And it's like a V, the bottom is, so you can see. How I did it was I just taped one piece of tape right here in the middle. And then I, I just put hot glue in between the seam and like bent it to a, the angle I felt like putting it at basically. I mean, it's nothing fancy. Like I didn't do any math equations or anything. And, uh, you know, just use some hot glue with some wooden dowels to keep it to hold that angle. Put this on top for extra support and... Um, also, you know, to hold all the electronics, you got tons of room on here for whatever you want to put. And I just made a motor mount, I mean, out of some foam and some extra uh, balsa wood. <laughs> Nothing fancy again. And uh, at first I made this and it was all one piece and I couldn't take the section off, the tail section off, and I couldn't get it in my car, so that sucked. So after I crashed it the first time into a tree in super windy conditions, these, these booms broke, so I just... Um, made it so that I can take the front half off and put the back half in the car and that in the car and it'll both fit. And this, these are just, a, this is just half a sheet basically, a foam board. So it's going to take you two and a half sheets total to make this. Um, 30 inches long. It's 10 inches wide. I cut the, um, the, the hinge part. It's six inches right here. Six inches, and then four inches is the rest of the, of the uh, elevator. And I got a servo here, and a servo here, oh, bent a little bit, um, you know, to work the elevator, basically. And a servo here for the rudder, right here. And the rudder is 10 inches high by uh, 10 inches wide. I mean, it's, this is really, it's really simple. Same thing, four inches from the edge I made the the little like cut for the um the hinge 
and these are just some um, barbecue skewers. Just two of them. I mean, that it's really strong. And from here, this is a one yard, I think. I think this is one yard of a. Let's see, a measuring stick. Yep, 36 inches. Um, balsa um, rod, basically, or whatever. And I put some some Velcro right here. I think it's like roughly 10 inches. Let's see. Yeah, basically 10 inches. And what that does on the bottom, I'll just set it right here. On the bottom, I also put Velcro right here next to these my old broken uh, booms next to it on the in on the inside of them so that when I lay this on top let me get this basically when you put it together obviously it's not flat but you get the point you you know you tuck this right up next to this so it's pretty sturdy you know you make it flat and everything and then I got these straps going over the top to hold it down so it sticks to this velcro with this on here and it sticks really good with that and uh, then you just it's so big it's hard to move around even in a room Then you just tighten it down, the Velcro, around these, and uh, it's on there solid. Like it's not moving; it's not gonna come off or anything. And uh, honestly, you could probably use even more weight up front. I think if you put two 5,000 3S batteries up here with this, that would be perfect. Like you couldn't get any better than that. I'm sure. These are 4465C, so I'm sure if you got a lower C battery and a uh, two five thousands it'd be like perfect weight up there with that GoPro um I also got the this at an angle the reason being is so that I wanted it to fly slow so I have the if you can see it's at an angle so that I want it to fly like this so when it flies it's at an angle going upwards that way it's got a lot of like uh lift for slow flight basically it's kind of like doing a harrier everywhere but the prop is straight when it's like that so you get thrust it going like this which holds the front end up like that and uh, that makes it really good for flying really slow and uh, it handles winds pretty good I mean my last video it, it was like in 15 20 mile an hour gusts and it was pretty crazy wind and it, it did it really well the great thing about it being so huge is you can literally see it crazy far away like I've never flown a plane as far as I've flown this away like line of sight I mean for something you could build for like 20 bucks really less than that actually this is a really good plane I mean I just you know made it out but on my mind and it flies really good and it works really nice I mean so if you're looking for something really easy to build and you know you want to put your GoPro on or something this is a really cool and also for FPV, I mean, everything is super far away from each other, so you won't get any interference with your video system up here and your receiver all the way back here. But, I mean, that that's how I have it set up. I mean, you can do your own wiring or whatever. But, um, trying to think of anything I missed. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I put a bunch of uh, clear tape on the bottom where it lands. You can catch it too. I actually catch it. But I just have it there anyways. Clear packing tape right there on the bottom. And around the edges of the wings. Also on uh, here too. More clear tape. But um, that's it. Let me know if you uh, had any more questions. I mean it's super simple build. I literally just built it from like. Just my brain just thinking about it. Whatever. No uh. I didn't have any uh, instructions or anything. So, you know, it works. It's cool. And, 
Let me know how yours turns out if you make it. Thanks.